Good morning. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to Defining Deborah. My name is Deborah, and I live in a house. And her name is House. And I have a dog, and his name is Parker. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> I just thought I would use her opening since she likes to steal other people openings. I can't remember anything past that. Maybe I should give my house a name. Hmm. I'll have to think on that. Um. Oh, I got it. Hi, my name is Deborah, and I live in the house, and her name is Rising. Why? Because I try to come out here and uplift people. I believe that we can all rise from whatever is going on in our life and we can live above the mess and continue to grow upward and forward. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to keep her name rising. All right. Um, <clears throat> I got up early, but then I laid back down. Actually, I was looking at bathing suits. I know. I spent a whole almost two hours looking at bathing suits, trying to get them in early for my trip in April, just in case they don't fit. But this is what I'm going to say. I am believing that I'm going to lose at least 20 pounds before I go on this trip. All right. So y'all hold me accountable. Ask me at the end of every week how much I lost. So I had to be shameful in front of all of you all. Yeah, if I don't lose. Okay, so Miss Ma'am put up her video for her and Miss Etna. It said 15 hours ago, but we all know that she waited late because she didn't want us to have anything to say about this because she even named it Miss Etna came back or something along those areas. Hey, I don't know what's going on with Miss Etna. I don't know why she would want to come back after somebody almost set her on fire. But I'm beginning to believe that McNasty friends are a little bit special. They was on the same bus she was on because personally, if you almost lit my ass on fire, I, I think that would be the end of our relationship. I'm just saying. But hey, maybe there's something wrong with me. So now this is what kills me, that how this individual almost videotapes every freaking thing she does, even going to the bathroom and taking a shower. And yet, she must think the people that watch her or even come to do reaction videos like this one, which it is a reaction video, and my commentary on what is being said in this video that I'm watching. It is covered under the Fair Use um, Act, Copyright Act, and it is just my personal opinion I'm saying this for entertainment, and it could be some educational things thrown in there. But like I said, it's just my opinion doing a commentary, and we all have one. So, this broad drinks like Ned the Wino, and yet she wants to get in this video and act like, oh, I, I, I don't really drink. Oh, um, I, I, I'm going to mess up Miss Etna and... and Mess up her Christianity and all this stuff. And we know your ass be sucking down the Dollar Tree wine in Quartzsite. And I have, we just have no, we lost count on the bottles that you and Charlene drank when you were there for four months. So why are you trying to act like you don't drink in this video? Girl, stop it. Yo, she wants to do the mimosa. Mm-hmm. Miss Edna, where you went? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, volume 12. Well, you want to? <laughs> I guess. What you trying to act like? Me. We don't have to. She'll be well, trying to. We ain't got to go nowhere till tomorrow, so. She'll be trying to make she herself look better than the people that's with yeah, her. We don't have to go nowhere till tomorrow, and we ain't got to get up early. Uh, I be getting the barefoot. Cause that's all they sell in the store. You go to. It's, it's right here too. I don't know which kind you want. You do you what you what you? It was one right here. They got different flavors, so it's one right there. I don't know which kind you want. This is more right here. They got them. 
They don't have them all together by brand here. The other stores I be going to have them by brand. You go to the so Dollar General, like, of course. They probably only got two most? brands, or uh, maybe know, one. What, what kind you mix with the? And hello. Just something clear. And, uh, hello. You use champagne to make well, mimosas. Orange juice and champagne. This is, this is Moscato sweet and this is the Not Moscato. Moscato. Okay, give me a... Quit messing up the wine. Just drink it straight or make a spritzer. You can put Sprite or 7 up in there and make it a spritzer. Now watch this. This is like this one too. They like these two. Actually, the German wrestling, they should have a blue bottle. Can't remember the name of it, but it's a German wine from it's from Germany, so it tastes way better than any American wrestling. Mm -hmm. As if you don't drink two by yourself. Stop, Ned. Well, we'll both be we both going to be sleeping good tonight. You know, Ned will suck down some Mad Dog, Ripple, and Thunderbird all in one night. So I don't know why she's trying to act like two bottles of the Barefoot Wine is going to tear her up. She'll be just toe up. Not. Yeah, I don't think we need nothing else. Okay, you hear this? We don't, I have plenty of food in my refrigerator and you We don't need nothing else. But then they stopped to get a vacuum cleaner, which I'm going to look online because that's actually a good price of 40 bucks. So that was good for me. They looked at the carpet cleaner, so I already have one, but I could use another one and send my old one over to the condo so my son can use that to clean up that carpet since I just got it put down this year. Oh no, last year. Okay, but... Let me put y'all on mute. They playing music loud. And there. do we think she's gonna go in this Walmart and not go to the dollar section? Mmm. I don't know. But um oh, they're on their way. They're supposed to be on their way to get lighter fluid. Hmm. Uh if you're not barbecuing. You don't have to start a fire with lighter fluid if you know how to start a fire. Okay, sorry, you guys. Parker is barking at the wind. It's a windy day, and he can hear it howling. And so this has been going on since 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Oh, she's looking for a hammock. She buys a freaking extension cord, but she's too cheap to buy the 100-foot. Um, so I think she ends up with the 50-foot because she has a 25-foot back at the mystery van. She wants a hammock, and they couldn't find it. Then she asked one of the people that work at Walmart. And um, Do y'all sell hammocks? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> if y'all have. Okay, and then she's in the Walmart with that dirty purple coat zipped all the way up with the hood on. I would be getting out of her way too because she looks she looks like the Unabomber. As if you work in Walmart and you know where the damn hammocks are. Now watch this. Because she know more than everybody else. I'm going to have to put one on. My Amazon wish list. That's... Let me round that back just a little bit. Watch this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to put one on. She's getting ready to say, I'm, I got to put one on my Amazon wish list. Now, your ass already got a hammock, but you can't find it in all that shit. 
in the in the mystery van. Okay, maybe these. Yeah. And yeah, see, there go the hammocks, but the guy didn't know what he was oh, talking about. Wow. Oh, I ain't getting no hammock from here. She don't want to pay the price. These things are too high. Mhm. Mm you want a hammock, but you don't want to pay the eighty bucks for one. So you're gonna put it That's on your Amazon right wish list, so one of your subscribers will pay the money for it. Yeah, girl. The cheapest one right there is thirty-four dollars. Oh, now. Now see. Let's go get the uh, lighter fluid. It's some more stuff I needed, but I can't even remember. What She's it was. a damn trip. You was, want shit, but you don't want to pay for it. And and let me um. And it was something else. Other um. Than you. As this plays. I was kind of trying to tally up like how YouTube pays and I was watching this one lady who's been very upset about the fact that I guess YouTube is regulating how many watch hours or times. I don't know. I don't understand the whole thing, but she was trying to break it down and she was saying by certain ads, you may make only 10 cents a view versus maybe I guess if you have more ads or a longer video, you may make like $2 or something. I don't know. But I just figured I would go on the cheaper end of her saying 10 cents, you know, per view. Yeah, per view, per, I guess, like, you know, how many people watch it. Okay, so, you know, Miss Thang, she's now averaging probably about 2,000 views a day because of the fact that she took that four-month hiatus and it cuts her back. So she may get... 1.2 one day, she might get 2.5, she might get a 3, and then once she actually had 7,000 people view it, but that's when she was lying, saying that um, she she made it seem like she was moving out her van, and then the one where, oh, it was 19 degrees or something, because she used this clickbait. If you don't know what clickbait is, you'll put something in your thumbnail, and what is a thumbnail? Thumbnail is that picture that people see when they're scrolling through um, YouTube to see what they want to watch. So what people do to get people to click into their video to at least watch some of it is they'll use clickbait. Like I could possibly put on this one, dancing naked in Walmart. Okay. I know she didn't dance naked in Walmart, but I could tie it in with the fact that she's buying lighter fluid. She almost burnt up Miss Etna last time and maybe Miss Etna clothes will get burnt up. You know, I don't know. I could make up something to make it clickbait so people will want to click in on my videos. I don't like clickbait. I don't use clickbait. If I say something, I just be trying to think of something clever with my titles. Because I just like doing stuff like that. It challenges me. So anyway, um, I was looking at it. So I was like, okay, let's just average out that she probably gets about, let's say, 2002 2,500 people, if we average it out, probably a day. You know what I'm saying? And you know she's going to videotape all day, every day. So I average like 30. I think I didn't even do 30 days. I did 20 because, you know, some days you don't get as many videos, so, I mean, views. So I took 10 days off, and I just try to average it around 20 days. And one day being a high count day. Because, like, if she gets 10 cents on the 7000 that's $700. But in either way, y'all buddy is averaging about two to $3,000 a month. Now, you tell me why you live in a mystery van that you don't have to pay any more, I mean, any um, money for a month is paid for. You have some little probably locale insurance because I know her. She ain't going to buy. She ain't going to do full coverage. And I went on that anyway. I buy enough so if I hit somebody, my insurance will cover it. Um, and then she has 50,000 phones that she paid for. And I think her Starlink, her membership to Planet Fitness. She's already did the um, park thing. That's a one-time pay. So her bills aren't high. So let's get give or take. Let's say she got $500 in bills, even $600. That still leaves you over $2,000 to play with for the month. What the hell are you spending it on? 
You keep talking about you want a van. Well, you could get a van. If you save like you're always telling other people, she's always trying to give other people financial advice. If you kept your ass out of Walmart and on the dollar, um, whatever area, because I don't even know what a dollar area is in Walmart. I very rarely go in there. The service is horrible, so, so I don't get myself mad. I just don't go. But I'm just saying, now look at her. You're all over here in clothes as if you need one article of anything out of Walmart. You got shit now that you ain't got a place for. And yet, you're over here looking at jeans and stuff. And don't let her lie to you. She ain't buying shit for nobody else. She will tell you, oh, I bought these size 4X because I'm going to give them to my girlfriend in Houston. No, she's not. She's just a consummate hoarder. If it says a dollar, she's going to pick it up, not one, about 20. That's just her thing. That's why that van looks horrible. If you compare the van now to what she showed on Bob Wells, you wouldn't even think it was the same van. So my thing is, how the hell are you going to give other people financial advice and how they can save their money off of going to clubs and smoking and drinking and whatever their entertainment is so that they can go get a park pass when your ass don't have as many bills as the average person and you can't manage to save your money to get what you want. You put everything on your wish list. And that's another thing. The basic thing <laughs> that people buy... She don't buy. Like, she has the three-in-one. Like, I buy body wash. I buy shampoo and conditioner. She buys VO5, and it's an all-in-one for her. She washes her body with VO5 shampoo, which who knows what they put in that shit. It's been around since the 60s or the 50s. I wouldn't dare put it on my body. And then she uses it for her hair, too. And then she buys 20 bottles of that so she don't run out. I'm sorry. This woman should never give anybody advice on not one damn thing. Not advice. Look at that. Don't she look like the Unabomber? Walking around Walmart looking like that. Why do you need the hood on inside the store? It is not cold in Walmart. You don't see nobody else in the store dressed like that. She always got to be extra. Extra all the time. So I'm telling you, for the ones who are her subbies, and then you might come over here and happen to watch one of my videos and want to leave one of your little rants, you crazy as hell if you take advice from her on anything. On finances, on how to raise your children. She didn't even raise hers and don't even spend time with them or her grandchildren. How to... um manage yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically, not. Because we can see, or you should be able to see that she ain't put together in them areas either. So I, I, I don't, I, I'm just always curious why people do. And now she, uh, that might be the hundred foot cord she ended up getting. And where are you putting it? And what do you need it for? I mean, she got stuff sitting in that little um, shed thing next to where she rented because she couldn't even sleep in her van with the stuff in there. I mean, and then she'll say, "I'm like she said, I'm purging and cleaning out the van since she'd been there at the park. Had thrown away a damn thing. Not a thing. She just moves it from one place to the next. Look at that hot ass mess. Ma'am. She likes about 75 in the face. Oh, I hate when she does that. I hate when she pierces her lips. First of all, she ain't got no lips, but then it make her have wrinkles all around her chin and her face. I, I, ugh. I don't know why. It, that just really, ugh. All right. I got stuff I need to be doing. I literally still have half of my Christmas lights still up, so I'm going to go out here and just snatch them down real quick so I can put them in a container and put them in a the garage. Let's start my dinner. I've got oh, so I want some cabbage and I got some neck bones. So I'm gonna cook that and that'll give me dinner for about three days because I don't mind eating leftovers. Um I might cook some corn. I try to just do a meat and a vegetable so I have a protein and a vegetable. 
I'm not a big carbs person, so my thing is sugar. Yep, I'm a sugar person. So I'm determined. I'm going to let myself just pig out till the 31st of January. Then February 1st, I'm cutting off the sugar, and me and my body will start having that sugar fight. Because sugar is evil. Sugar is like a drug. You ever try to cut off sugar? Mm. And it's in everything. Natural sugar is okay. But I tell you what. Sugar, cutting off sugar from your body, your body will cut the fool with you. But the beauty of it is when you do that and you try to taste something after 30 days or so, everything tastes too sweet. After you just use, uh, you know, natural sugars like I'll make a trail mix with nuts and flax seeds and stuff like that. But then I'll put raisins in there. And as the month goes on, the raisins even start tasting like they're too sweet and that. So, yeah, that's my master plan. We'll see how well it works. All right, let me get up from here and quit talking to y'all. I'm just gabbing, gabbing, gabbing. Go on, Parker, now. Been making noise all morning. He says hello to you all. He'll bark at you in the wind. So if you got a windy day, that's Parker sending you a, a good morning. All right, guys. Bye.